Hi, so to exactly what extent can you trust the Chinese when they tell us that a certain product meets a certain standard or a certain specification on the spec sheet? We'll test that out today. When you review this item, this is the Moi Q32S wireless Bluetooth headset. Now the thing is, these babies here have a rating of IPX7. IPX7 means that if you took out these two buds and dip them in water, not just any depth, but at least one up to 1.5 meters for up to 30 minutes, these boys are going to be just fine. Now China is known to make exceptional stuff and some really poor quality stuff. And so when you get these items at the price I got them for, sort of piques my interest. And we're going to test that out today. Now I've had these buds for about a month, but this particular test, the waterproof test, I haven't done before today. And we're going to do it right now, right here, with you guys to see exactly how it works. Here it goes. Okay, I'm going to dip only one, of course. I'm not that crazy, uh, just in case something goes wrong. There it goes. And I'll try and be fast in this review, principally just in case the rating is just on paper. So, we'll start with battery life. This is rated 3 to 4 hours of music time of talk time. That's true, I've tested it, it works. It's not the most stellar, because the Oremo earbuds, for example, the ones I, I reviewed a couple of uh, months ago, actually can do up to 5 or 6 hours on a single set. But the carry case is also a charging case. And therefore, if you get 4 hours out of this, you can get a couple more charges out of this. And combined total getting 24 hours is not impossible of continuous play if that is something that you're into. The second issue is connectivity. And this is meant to be uh, Bluetooth 5.0. However, in my tests, I don't quite agree because I've tested Bluetooth 5.0 devices before and the connection is super fast. This is a bit slow. However, for distance, this works great. Must tell you, I can have my phone charging upstairs and I be downstairs with the buds in my ears and it sounds quite good. Of course, if you take a couple of corners, you lose connection, but just that possibility alone, this is the first set of devices where that has been possible. How about sound quality? Now, I have tested numerous devices before including the Remos, which I lost, unfortunately, but also the Amoy F9. I think this is the predecessor to what we're reviewing today. And the Amoy F9, um, well, not waterproof, a little bit bigger than what I have here, if you just compare the sizes, and Bluetooth 4.2, that is what it says, and of course, much cheaper. Now, I thought this sound quality was good, and I found this to be very light, but having used this, I can comfortably set that aside and say this quality is better. And my Q, the quality from the first F9s was actually better than the Remo, which I thought was also very, very good. So where it stands now, this is the best sound quality I've seen. The bus is great. The clarity is exceptional. Phone functionality. These can answer phone calls as well, and the sound is very clear. Unfortunately, only one side works for phone connection. That's the right side. The left side, you can only use for music. And so um, that's a downside if that matters to you. However, the voice is very crisp. The person on the other end of the line can also hear you and they're very, you know, it's quite, quite okay. Noise cancellation. Now, these buds don't have active noise cancellation. But what they do have is a perfect fit right in the ear. And we can test that right now. See that? Very snug. Now, if you put this on one ear and the other one on the other ear, after said this, my small daughter is quite persistent. I couldn't hear her. It's actually quite dangerous. You don't want to cycle with this because you won't hear a thing. So they do have noise cancellation. It's just that it is not active uh, noise cancellation. Um, what else? The carry case. I've come to appreciate the concept of form factor when it comes to cases. That's a really, really big deal now whenever I choose these cases going forward, this product going forward. Why? Um, let's take this for example. You can see how fat it is here, how thick it is there, and how thick it is there. So it's thick all around. Put this in your pocket, and two things are gonna happen. One, it's good, you're going to feel it all through. It's very heavy, sometimes uncomfortable, and if you're wearing, for example, a little bit um, of fashionable clothes, then this might not be what you want to pop out of your pocket at that time. Plus, 
The other issue I had with the Remos was that they could easily slip out of your pocket without you noticing. So those two things, one, pocketability, and number two, the ease of getting lost makes this a really big deal. Now, if you were to compare that and this, you can already see that this is much shorter, much slimmer, and all round, it's also lighter. So it can actually fit very comfortably and very snugly into uh, your pocket. Uh, that's a big deal for me, as I've said, it's something that I've really considered and uh, pay attention to quite a bit. In addition to that, this is actually not just a charging case for the AirPods that sit in, begin to charge the moment you place them in, but they also would charge your phone. Now, it's a bit of a problem getting the actual power rating for this case. Online, you seem to get ratings of about 2500 mAh, but I can charge my 4000 mAh phone from 0 to 15% max when empty. That tells me that the actual power rating for this could not exceed 500 mAh. But that's still something. When you're empty, you can get a 15% boost on this, get a couple of hours play. That's very good, and you don't get that from all kinds of cases. The next issue is LED indicator. Uh, so this is what you need to know. How do you know that this thing is empty? You could be carrying it for a trip and it's empty. There's a small indicator here. You may not see the light, but there's a small indicator. You'll probably see it when I put it back in. And um, it would uh, blink a couple of blue, blue, blue um, lights. If it blinks once, it's almost low. Five lights, it's almost full, and that's the indicator that it has. That's not the best in the market right now. The actual cases that give you a numeric reading, you can see 100%, 40%, 35%, whatever it is. And even the rhino bar, there's a button you, pre you press, it gives you an indicator that's very, very clear. Not the most intuitive, but it works. So again, I'm going to probably stop there because if I've uh, overlooked anything, I'll add it in the comments. Uh, but right now, we want to check the style of the show is this thing really waterproof as i've said i've put it in water just now and i'm going to remove it and just do a test okay so it's not blinking anymore that doesn't look good Alright, so first part, they're both light in red. I've not tried it, the case is not waterproof, but yeah, yeah, you can do that a little bit. So that's the first part. Alright, so I'm gonna take them out. Listen for the pairing instruction. Okay, at least uh, seems to be pairing. Ah, uh, and just before you get to it, there's something I've not mentioned, the concept of control. Now, how do you control these items? Number one, um, the control on this device's wireless is very, very good. For phone control, you can answer a call, reject a call, or call back the last level number. That's pretty standard. For music playback, you can actually pause a song and start a song that's a single press. Then you can jump to the next track, which is a double press. And you can also jump to the previous track, which is a triple press. Now, that's something that was missing on the Oremo earbuds that I had. And it's a really, really good functionality. What you don't have, however, is volume adjustment. I think that's useful, but you don't have it now. For the price point for this, that's a, not a big deal. So, here we are. I can see, um, let's see whether they're pairing light. I can see this is what I had in water. I'm going to turn on my Bluetooth right now. Um, there you go. And then see if it's going to connect. I got a connected sound. Let's play music. If my dance can't tell you, this is a thing, they work perfectly. Believe it or not, these things are actually waterproof. And here's the best part. You know, I reviewed the Ramos principally because the cost was a big deal compared to the Apple AirPods. The AirPods cost about $200 in my region. 
and the rain was cost about $37. And I didn't see the need to splash up the cash that's different from the $10. The thing is, these things that you've just proven to be waterproof are actually $18. That's right. The cost of these devices is $18. I got them off Jumi. I'm going to leave the link in the description. And I'm just amazed that they actually are what they say. And I mean, who does that? And yeah, that's super impressive. So I immediately change my recommendation and say, this is what you'd consider. And again, for my videos, remember this, not sponsored with Soyova. I bought this myself of um, not eBay but Jumia. I, I, I got this delivered and I have no clue what the company is that makes this. I just know that they've done a superb job. The sound quality is excellent. They are waterproof. They're very light. The charging case works. The only thing is that when, if this were to drop, these guys would fall out to help me to them. Other than that, it's amazing and it, yeah 18 dollars consider it uh, if that's what you if that's what you like so there you go guys let me know what you think in the comment section again as usual like comment share subscribe all that stuff helps the channel and if you like the video of course give it a big thumbs up uh, that's quite important as well cheers if you yeah bye